yeah hi everyone so today we have uh, ravi teja with us who has secured an excellent rank in gate 2024 examination so let's talk to him about about his preparation so yeah hi ravi how are you hi himanshu yeah i'm fine how about you yeah i am also good so ravi can you please briefly introduce yourself about your schooling and graduation so first of all uh, thank you himanshu for inviting me here i am ravi teja and i am from andhra pradesh and i did my schooling and up to 12th class here in my hometown and i am a 2021 graduate in the field of electronics and communication from bapatla engineering college and uh, later i worked as a vlsi engineer uh, for 1.8 years and then i resigned in march 2023 and uh, i started my preparation from that point okay yeah so when did you decide to write the examination and what was your main aim behind writing this examination uh, okay so when i was in my final year i i mean i have the idea of gate when i joined btech but i don't i didn't thought of uh, giving gate uh, before but in my final year i i mean uh, i wanted to give it an attempt so i gave an i gave my first attempt in my final year and at that time I got 36 marks in ECE and uh, with a rank of 2500. So mm -hmm. later, uh, I mean, I, I still have the thought of uh, taking a drop after BTEC, but because of the COVID situation, uh, uh, every, I mean, I wanted to join a coaching institute actually. So, but because of the COVID, I couldn't uh, find an offline resource. So I thought of doing a job and also I wanted to experience, I wanted to have some experience in the VLSI field. So um, I thought of doing job for some time before doing preparation. So I did job. Yeah. Then I prepared. Yeah. So like you dropped your job after two years and then you started preparing for it. So wasn't there any risk factor involved in that? And how did you overcome that? Yeah, actually I wanted to continue my preparation with the job, but uh, as you know that it is the VLSI yeah. field, so yeah, yeah. we have a lot of pressure. pressure. So yeah. because of the hectic time schedule, I couldn't get any time to prepare. Yeah. So I thought of resigning because that's the only option for me. And yeah. yeah, there was some risk involved in it, but I believed in myself uh, that yeah. I can get it. So yeah, self-belief is the most important part, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. So from which subject did you start from? So I basically started with uh, EDC, actually okay. uh, I joined a coaching institute in offline, so they started uh, with EDC, so I started from, uh, I started preparing from EDC subject, yeah, so I went on with the flow. Okay, nice. And uh, then did you make your own notes or did you follow the PDFs and did you make any short notes? Yeah, so... I was attending classes and I used to make notes in the class itself, most of the class notes. Okay. Uh, and I used to revise that. And short notes, I haven't prepared in the, I mean, initially, I have prepared my short notes when the syllabus was over. I mean, after the syllabus got over, I prepared my short notes of all subjects and revised from that short yeah actually i too don't believe in making short notes that much because in short notes it doesn't help that much we should be uh, comfortable with the complete subject yeah right so what was your preparation what was your revision strategy yeah so i i mean when the classes were going in, i thought of like uh, i have only this thing in my mind that uh, when the class and the syllabus is over, by the time the syllabus is over, my preparation should also complete. So I have this thought of thought in my mind and I made a plan accordingly. I used to revise mostly uh, from the class notes only I and mean, while, while, uh, while my preparation was going on. Uh, even, even if I get a small note, I used to go through the whole concept uh, before making short I mean, this all had this is all before making the short notes. So the syllabus was completed in mid October and then I started making the short notes of all subjects. After it is completed, then I started revising from the short notes because I am mostly thorough with the concepts. So I used short notes as my revision source. And if I get any doubt, even uh, I mean 
if i forget any concept then only i used to go to the class okay okay yeah, so okay okay so like uh, when did you start writing that essay series like any particular particular time or anything yeah so while i, uh, I mean uh, while the class for going on i i mostly concentrated on concept building and uh, practice question practice so during that time i mean uh, up, uh, during up to october i didn't write any test any single test i was mostly focusing on my concept building and question practice so after october i started giving full length test in subject test and topic test everything um, so i have given almost uh, 40 plus full length mocks to say okay great and also okay. the same number of uh, subject and topic wise this so the main the the main thing which helped me to get this rank is the test series i would say because yes, yeah. uh, uh, tests have helped me a lot in revising all my concepts my time yeah. management my speed accuracy everything was improved during the test only yeah. and also this test have played a major role in building my confidence as well so this i would say this is a very important part of the preparation yeah even during my time as well i wrote a lot of test series that that help us uh, a lot in getting a good rank we get to know the time management we get to know how to tackle tough questions yeah that's actually a pretty good point yeah, yeah. so how many marks did you get uh, uh, in test series in the initial phase not in the final one in in initial phase how many marks did you used to get actually to tell that route uh, i mean none of the test series marks have disappointed me but okay. i mean even in the initial test uh, i used to get around some 50 plus most of okay, the time great. so actually that's the thing which kept me motivated, motivated. And, uh, and keeps my confidence i was able to yeah. write the final exam with calm and cool mindset because of yeah. it uh, so this is a very important thing actually uh, like writing the final exam with a full mindset otherwise it's very easy to mess it all up so um, this is the main reason why i was yeah. enjoying it this okay. one of the reasons why okay, so you had it. always been yeah so you had always been motivated since your test series score was pretty good right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so any any final tip from your side to the viewers to our viewers Yeah. So before uh, taking the drop, I, I mean the only doubt that I have uh, in my, I mean uh, in my mind is that I mean just like many other aspirants, I I used to compare myself with others. Yeah, this yeah. Is the biggest, biggest, biggest problem with many aspirants. I would say, I mean I've talked to my friends, a lot of people, and most of them are afraid that. i mean they are used to they used to compare with themselves with others and they doubt in their abilities so this should not happen i also uh, got through the same thing initially but i know that uh, this kind of thoughts will will not work so i stopped yeah. comparing myself and i uh, i focused on my strengths and improving them so so all the aspirants should do the same because comparison will only break fear in us so there's no need right. to compare and we can believe in ourselves and our strength and also like um, and also i used to compare like uh, be afraid of the competition also okay. and that also we should not uh, be afraid of because uh, it also breaks a lot of fear so i i mean what i did was i used to like hypnotize my mind kind of thing like so i am the only one writing the exam and my only aim is to get as many uh, i use uh, my aim is to solve almost all the questions so yeah. this kind of like i used to uh, hypnotize myself with this kind of things to get rid of this fear of competition and also these are the um, factors which we should improve upon yeah and a positive mind- mindset is always important like i can see you are always positive during your preparation so yeah that's pretty good and even in in our field we have to be motivated always be it in the field of vlsi or by writing the gate or during the amtech yeah so that's pretty good yeah so thank you very much ravi for being there on this channel
Ya. Yeah. Thank you.